you have even more cura- courage than I have because I would have never done what you did. <laughs> I cannot do that. Like you just rip the bandaid. <laughs> you be like, we're done, bitch. Yeah. Me personally, if I was in your position, I would have um, made appointment like every three months, then every four months, then every six months, and discreetly and you know slowly disappeared. <laughs> They're but not they're doing the phone anymore. But how would I do that? That's the thing because I was seeing her every three weeks. If I said, um, and she's very clingy. One, two. I'm Veronique and I'm Sylvia. Welcome to the High Vibes and the Mind Podcast, where multicultural moms connect. Hi everyone, welcome back to the show, High Vibes and the Mic. This is Veronique and I'm with Sylvia today. How are you? Hi, hi, hi everyone. Hi, Veronique. Doing good. Thank you. So today we're going to talk about um, something kind of funny, but I'm sure everyone can uh, relate to this. How to break up with somebody who works for you. Because after a while, you know, people who work for you, or maybe, you know, if you work for somebody else, you can have, um, have a relationship with them. And you, be- you can become friends. And when it's been three, five, six, seven, ten years, I've developed a relationship mm-hmm. with them. So um, Sylvia has a funny story about that. She's going to tell us about her hairdresser. And I'm sure all the ladies out there had at least one experience like that. So Sylvia, what happened? Yeah, yeah. So it's something that people don't really talk that much about. And we're going to shed a light on it. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> How to... <laughs> Uh, break up with someone who's providing your service and you are not happy and so that happened to me with my hairdresser recently um so we uh the way the whole thing started is i had another hairdresser that i really loved and you know like you feel like don't they say that there is uh with plants you have a green finger or green thumb that, that you know how to <laughs> ma- d- deal with plants so i think the same thing for hair yeah. My previous hairdresser was great. I think my she had a great hand that we say in Portuguese, a good hand for <laughs> hair. Like she she made my hair, I, I don't know, it was a good chemistry. My hair always looked good, great around her when, when she was doing my hair. And then uh, she moved away, moved to another town. And I had to, I was forced to find another hairdresser. And I went on Yelp and I started searching and I saw a lot of good reviews about this hairdresser which happened to go to the same salon that I was going, but it's just like another hairdresser at the same salon, different locations. So I found her and started working with her. At the time I was, I had like my head was, my hair was shedding like crazy because it was after COVID and I had a lot of stress going on as well. And I just, and I think the more you worry about it, the more it falls out, right? It was just like a lot of hair. I was always going crazy because I always like I always had a full set of hair and and feeling like you could see it everywhere was driving me crazy. So I went to see her and I said, I I think I need a haircut. She's like, "Okay, cool. So she did this crazy haircut, which I actually I wanted to make it look fuller, but she cut it in a way that uh, I didn't notice because uh, right away because she curled my hair after. So it's wow. just like a bunch of layers and then you curl the hair. I'm like, okay, looks cool. Thank you. Nice. And then I washed it the next day or oh, the next time and washed it and blue dried by myself. And I could see there was like this big chop, you know, like one part, like at the top, mm-hmm. like chopped. And then the bottom part, there was no connection between the top and the bottom. <laughs> like it wasn't like a nice layer, like a, ni- a smooth transition from one layer to the other. And it just made my hair look thinner. Because of the big chop, and that's exactly what I did not want. Yeah. So she did that and was upset. But then she also did highlights and damaged my hair so much because I was like, oh, yeah, I went a little lighter. I went way too light, screwed up my hair. And then I was like, you know what? Just keep on going because she was so nice, you know, super friendly, bringing me, like, you know, croissants. Coffee. Do you want coffee? Would you like a cup of coffee? 
Yeah, and it, like, you know, we would go to Starbucks and then bring me something. Always super, mm. super, trying to be super nice and friendly, you know, all the time. So I was like, oh, gosh, I don't know how I'm going to get away from this. I wasn't happy with the highlights. I wasn't happy with the haircut. But I fe- figured, like, maybe I'll wait for my hair to grow and it's going to get better, you know. But every time she tried to fix it, to trim it, to trim it, she messed it up still. Like, it was like a never-ending thing. It's like never really, I saw no hope, no end of, like, no solution for my problem, for my dilemma. It just, like, went <laughs> in my hair, going to look the way I wanted to look. And then my old hairdresser came back to town and she sent a message. Hey, Sylvia, I'm back. I'm like, oh God, what do I do now? And I really liked her, but now I'm with this one. I was already stuck with my current uh, hairdresser. I felt like I couldn't get away from her. For, for how long did you stay with her? Um, that nightmare. A year and a half. A year and a half. Of a this. year and a half. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think you had given enough time for her. Yeah. Her. Yeah. But you know how that's enough. No, and then she moved, which like in a way you see like there is like she wasn't that great at, after all because she or she had problems with people as well because she moved from another salon, then went to the salon across the street from me, like two minutes away. Then she's like, Oh, well, I'm having issues here for with this person. I'm gonna go to another salon downtown. I'm like, okay. I was much happier when I was two minutes away. I don't like the of fact course. that I have to drive. Now, like all the way downtown, but okay, fine. So went to this other hair salon. She stayed there for like three months. And then she's like, oh, well, it's not really working out. I'm going to move to another place. <clears throat> then she went to this other place uh, in another area of uh, where I live. And I'm uh, harder to park. I'm like, what are you doing? Why can't you just stay in a salon? Like, what's uh-huh. going on here? So those are red flags. It's like a relationship, red flags. Changing, moving from salon to salon, like having problems with co-workers with other hairdressers or uh the owners of the the salon and the fucking up with my hair excuse my language <laughs> so there are a lot of like a lot of signs and then finally got to a point after i had my last treatment and then some highlights that she did like low low lights very low but still enough to i feel like it damaged my hair a lot i said you know what that this is it so i decided <laughs> to go on a quest for a new hairdresser and then i found one and i went you didn't go back to the one who came back the one no, you had because before now i don't know now i'm like i feel bad of coming back hey can you take me back and i feel like my hair is so damaged she's gonna trash she's like why did you let this happen to your hair so i'm actually embarrassed by her reaction because she's gonna but hate she's the one who left she's the one who left you didn't leave i know but no, she's she... gonna look at like what happened to your hair what have they done to your hair and i don't well, want to hear left. that <laughs> You left, so that's what happened. That's your fault, actually. Yeah. What you found to me? <laughs> Victor. So then, well, I found this other hairdresser and okay. went there and she actually fixed the haircut. She said, like, now you just have to wait it to grow it out. It got to yeah. a point that I was actually going, cutting my own hair off. I was like, I oh, wow. on, cutting my hair, grab the scissors because I was trying to fix the mess. I'm like, no, there's no way this is normal. I cannot walk around. With a straight hair, if he was straight, you looked completely weird. Even Patrick, the other, the other day, my husband was like, when I did the keratin treatment, my hair was very straight. He's like, what happened to your hair? Why is it chopped like that? I'm like, uh, nothing. Okay, if, if a man notices, yeah, there's a problem. Yeah, and then I was, that's when I, felt, I thought and I said to myself, this is it. So I found this other hairdresser. She was able to fix the, the haircut to make it more smooth. Um, she also saw a lot of wrong things with the way the highlights were done and the keratin treatment that we are going to work through all those things. I love the salon. Like, it's a nice place. She seems like a very quiet, nice, like, normal person. <laughs> normal person. <laughs> Not too much drama because this other one had a lot of drama in her life. So. Oh, yeah. And the drama also. And the drama is just, like, so I... negative. All these crazy stories. Uh, I don't want to hear that. It's just too much. It's just, like, what something wrong is going on, and I don't want to be part of it, you know? I just And this new hairdresser seemed very nice. Very. So I sent her a, a text message when I finally canceled it. I canceled on the system, and I thought, like, you know what? She's going to see it. I don't know. It's going to take days for her to see it. She's going to forget because she's busy with other clients, mm-hmm. right? So I hope. Yeah. Uh, no, right away, 
She texted me, did you, ma- did you mean to cancel your appointment? You're the and only I, client. And I thought, I was like, okay, what do I do now? This, do I just take this chance? Because I was going nuts trying to find ways to tell her that I didn't want to I didn't want to be uh, have her to touch my hair anymore. So <laughs> I spent the whole week trying to think about what to say, what to write, how I'm gonna do it. And then this when is unbelievable. The whole you, week, you not even spend your week properly. thinking about how to break up with your hairdresser. <laughs> this is what we come we come to. I had to talk to Patrick. I said, Patrick, what do you think? <laughs> He's like, Oh no, no, this is not good. Don't say that. Ooh, if you say that, she's gonna be mad. I'm like, oh gosh, what do I do? So when I saw her text. I just said, screw it. This is it. I'm going to say it. And I yeah. thought about lying. I could have lied. But yeah. then I, that's what I, I told felt, you to do. <laughs> yeah, but then Patrick's like, oh, that's not nice to lie. <laughs> I should have lied. Hey. You'd be, it would have been easier. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to be to- totally honest. And I told her, I could be lying to you right now, but I'm just going to say, mm-hmm. I found, uh, no, I didn't say I found another hairdresser. Was I didn't <laughs> even say that. But I said, uh, I did. I wasn't happy with my hair, and uh, that I decided to like to stop, like take a break and re- reevaluate the relationship. The relationship, not you. It's Will me. You take a break? <laughs> but actually, no, it's you because you mess up my hair. <laughs> then, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> it's not you. It's me. But the thing is, I also was doing readings for her, psychic readings. Oh, yeah. So I had a, a credit, like. A, we exchanged, like she did offer the keratin treatment and I had the, the uh, my psychic sessions I would offer her in return. So I had two hours of, uh, two and a half hours of uh, readings that she then decided to call and say like, oh, what's so, why, I, uh, what happened? You didn't, uh, you didn't say anything that you had an issue. And I said, no, I did. I already told you in the past. So she was trying to pretty much say that it was my fault that I wasn't happy with her. <laughs> And I said, you know what, Andrea? That's why I don't like to talk to people because I already start getting like uh, aggravated and heated. Mm-hmm. So I said, you know what? Um, we are done here. Good, best of luck to you. And if you're trying to say <laughs> yeah. it was my fault, like I don't know what to say. I wasn't happy, and I found someone else. It's my hair, and I know what is best for me. And see ya. She's like, okay, yeah. great. So you're gonna pay for those hours, right? For the, the keratin treatment that you're supposed to do the reading for me. I mm. said, yes, fine. I'll send you all the money and more if you need, okay? So that you leave me alone. <laughs> Go for it. If she was decent enough, she would say, I'm very sorry um, that you got disappointed, that you didn't like my service. You shouldn't. Even, you don't even need to pay. Like a normal person with character, I think. Because you're trying to sell something if you're tr- if the customer is not happy. Like, I wasn't happy at all, even with the keratin treatment, the way she did my highlights and everything. This last time, mm-hmm. she really damaged my hair. So, nope, she wanted the, all the money back. I said, yeah, okay, I'll give it to you. Bye, see ya. And then we we hung up. And I was so mad at her. I'm like, oh, this bitch. But <laughs> in the end, just the, the way, even the way she talked, like, okay, uh-huh. You know, kind of being like very condescending and... But she was mad. And that's like, oh, whatever. She was mad you inside, know? you know. She, she's yeah. losing money. She's losing, losing a customer. Money. Out, so. Yeah, I could be trashing her on Yelp and all, everywhere, but I'm not going to do that because I'm nice. No, <laughs> you better than that. Yeah. You're going to trash her. Everybody goes their own way. Yeah. I mean, you but, know, it's, it's, it's like oh. being in a relationship. Yeah. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate. When you you seeing people like that once a week, once a month, whatever, for years, it's you are in a relationship with these with these people, mm-hmm. and if you're not happy with their services, you have to break up, and that's you not have easy. To break up, yeah, it's you a have break, to break up. And yeah. how do you do that? So what did you do? If you were, have you been in a situation like that? So or... I did, but I think for me, I don't know why they just it just disappeared. <laughs> so. Oh, same story happened with yeah. Some same story happened with my hairdresser. Um, we became friends, very good friends. I had a big birthday party. You were there, and she was there to invite her. So you know, she was part of my circle, and I've been seeing her for like ten years. And same thing at the beginning, she was living five minutes away from my house. I could walk there. Mm-hmm. Then she got into a fight with the owner of the. They always get in. Oh, fight. see, I don't know what's yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. She going to fight with the owner, so she moved miles away 
very like uh, another city, but because you know we're in a relationship, I have to follow her. Okay, like that's my husband. I have to follow her wherever she goes because she told the owner, "I'm taking my, you know, I'm taking my customer with me." Of course. So I was sitting there, and after a while, I was like, "This is so far away from my house," uh, and I was really thinking, pushing. "Yeah." I yeah. need to find somebody around around my house because I was used to go just go walk walk to you know to her salon before. But I still uh, stick with her, and then after a while, uh, I was seeing less and less because I didn't want to do any more colors. I didn't want to. I don't do relaxers. I didn't want to do anything much in my hair. So I was just seeing her just for the keratin treatments, which I do like every three months. So sometimes I was just maybe I should just go for a regular wash and go. And and flat iron, just actually to hang out with her a little bit, because we don't really have time to hang out outside of her when I see her. So after one, maybe, you know, this relationship is not really working anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and then she tells me one day that actually she's going to kind of retire. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, but somebody's going to take over. She's like, okay, yes, I'm training somebody. She's going to take over the salon so you can you know, see her. And in my head, I was already done. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not seeing her. I'm going to look for somebody close to my house of now. Of course. Now yeah. I have your permission, okay, to leave you because you're leaving me. Ah, so we so go. So much better. So much better. When it's so like that. much better. So it was, it was like that. That's happened. And actually, uh, I didn't see anybody because I went back to that salon. The salon is closed. I didn't see anybody walking there. So I don't know what happened with that person. She was training. Something for, I had an esthetician for a long time. Uh... And same thing, but also it was, I started with that station with Groupons, remember Groupons? Mm -hmm. And I really liked her. She was really funny. We had good times. So I continued to see her. And, but that was at the time when I was living in Milpitas. And then we moved to another city. And then it became very far for me to go there. And I didn't mm -hmm. know, I didn't know how to break up with, with her because I've been seeing her for like five years, every month. Uh -huh. And I'm like, how am I going to break up with her? Because there's other places I wanted to, to check next, close to my house. And uh, not the one with the massage, though. <laughs> the oh, massage. yes. Not that one? <laughs> yes, not that's that for place. another episode, you see. I try to break up with my massage place where I used to go all the time to try somebody else. Nah, nah, nah. The new boyfriend <laughs> wasn't as good as the old boyfriend, okay? <laughs> Keep what you have. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes please take me back. Yes, take me <laughs> back. The grass is not greener, you know, on the other place. Not always, not always. And finally, something happened. She told me she's uh, selling the salon. She's retiring. I'm like, really? So I didn't really have to break up with her. But um, for me personally, what I would have done with your uh -huh. uh, situation, that that's what I told you to do. But you, you, were, you have even more courage than I have because I would have never done what you did. <laughs> And I, I was cannot just do like, that. Yeah, I'll tell like you, you just the truth. Rip the bandaid. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, we're done, bitch. Yeah. Me personally, at, at your, you know, if I was in your position, I would have um, made appointment like every three months, then every four months, then every six months, and discreetly and you know slowly disappeared. <laughs> They're well, not answering no, the phone anymore. But how would I do that? That's the thing, because I was seeing her every three weeks. If I said, um, and she's very clingy like that, you know, she's going to be asking, why? Why did you cancel? Like, you see, like, My she God. texted me right away because I canceled it. And if I said I couldn't see it, like, oh, yeah, I'll, rec I'll, I'll, I'll book it later. She would still be, well, let me know, like, when exactly? Because I can book it right now. You know, I have to explain and you have to give my whole scheduled for her oh my so God. to justify canceling an appointment so after a week she'll be like where where are you don't you have to do your roots is there any time for your, your root to touch up oh. is there any time for this and then like uh, actually no so if i kept if i did that and did another time should be like no you're bsing me now you're yeah out. i mean she wouldn't she wouldn't leave me alone oh, God, it's so tough and I, I think i had no way out <laughs> I mean, yeah, in a sense, that's good, but you did this way, it's done, and she's not going to bother you, like yeah. you said. But me, I think I would have been a top liar and say, uh, or lie. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I would, would have, have lied, lied with my, through my teeth with yeah. no end. I could I have, have lied. lied. I would have lied. I could have, yeah. also, for my husband, try to be all honest and nice. <laughs>
And a good Christian man. <laughs> and a good Christian man. Because I could easily have come up with an excuse, say, hey, I'm going on a trip, yeah. which I thought, but the thing is, I canceled. Uh, I was going to say I was going on a trip and then say that I went on this trip and I ended up having my hair done there, you know, <laughs> I don't even know how, like, that would be my <laughs> excuse. But then she, since she found out on a Tuesday, why, how would I tell her that I was busy this whole week and I still couldn't see her on on Friday, you know? She's going to say, like, yeah. well, I have plenty of time because she does have a lot of openings. So mm-hmm. it would be weird. And I would have to say, like, actually, I'm traveling right now. It would be so many, so much, so many lights. Like, I'm traveling beginning of the week. I'm gonna say, you where you... am I going? <laughs> Why don't you just be busy with your kids? You have stuff to do. They have sport. They have a lot of stuff to do. You don't have time to go to the hairdresser. So you can just say, you know, you're busy with the kids. Isn't it insane that I have to give all these excuses for a freaking yes, hairdresser? It is, insane. it is totally insane. It's totally insane. Yes. I'm like, who? What? Why am I going through this? This is completely ridiculous. So, and then that's why I was like, you know what? Uh, I don't like my. I don't like the way my hair looks anymore. And we are done here. Thank you for everything. I really like you. I, I, and I said I, it only took too long because I didn't know how to approach it because uh, because of yeah. And and that's is it. Like move on. And when I think about it, I feel relieved. It's like a big baggage yeah. out of my off my shoulders you know because now i don't have to deal with any of that it was kind of awkward it was kind of weird it was uh nasty a little bit on the phone call but and i had to pay money for the readings like i ended up not i have to do all the extra money but whatever you know in the end it's done it's past i don't need to see her anymore like she's gonna go her way i go a totally opposite way it's (laughs) awesome and see ya (laughs) <laughs> and you it's don't see her freedom. in the street, right? Nope. Don't see her okay. absolutely anywhere. Okay. Yeah, so that was yeah. that, but it's not easy. Ladies, I don't know how you do it if you've been through situations like that. Ladies listening. Uh, but it is. Uh, it was the first time that I actually had to do with a, like a serious commitment <laughs> with someone. I did have one with a house cleaner one time that got weird too. Oh, yes, I did, but I don't remember how. I just told her, like, yeah, you don't need to come anymore. It's just not working out. Really? And she didn't like it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I didn't tell the date she showed up, but like I texted and said. Oh, yeah, by like, text, no. yeah. I was just yeah. tired of seeing, you know, like how many more warnings do I need to give you? The same thing with my hairdresser. I gave you signs. If you mm-hmm. couldn't read the signs, it is like a relationship. If you're not reading the signs, you know, shit hits the fan and that's it. <laughs> you're out. Like, you I give you a warning, two warning, three, you're out. Thank you very much. Yeah, three, you're yeah. out. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm so afraid of uh, uh, to have to confront the person and say, you know what, it's not working out and you cannot work for me anymore. That I guess maybe I would just wait until, you know, it's uh, they just disappear on their own. Uh, <laughs> and most of the yeah, time they do. The all right, ladies, so if, uh, you know, you had to break up with one of your service provider, let us know. Do you have any funny story to share with us? Uh, you can always reach us on our blog or on uh, our, social med- our social media. We have a Facebook page. Please uh, come and join us for conversation. We can, you can also uh, join us on YouTube. And now we have an Instagram account. Yes, Hi. I- High Vibes Moms, High Vibes Moms 2024. Yes, go check it out. High yeah. Vibes Moms 2024. We just, we post quotes, uh, some quotes from the episodes and some extractions and some clips as well. And we're still growing mm-hmm. the account. It's new and we see how we go. So let us know. Let us know also if you can leave any review for us. That would be great. And how you would handle a situation like that? What would you do uh, to avoid it? Not getting too close to the hairdresser or the esthetician or the house That's cleaning? Hard. How That's would you do that? Hard. Yeah, I guess that would I mean, be At the way. beginning, you try to stay, you know, professional. But it's mm-hmm. like the current esthetician I have right now. She is French, like me. So mm. I feel sometimes, I feel like, why are we still uh, uh, using the... You know, in French, you have two two ways of talking to someone the way mm-hmm. that you don't know you don't really know you're not uh, really close like you talk to your boss mm-hmm. and the way to friends mm-hmm. and it's been years i've seen you i'm like why are we still using the way that you know i will talk to my boss or whatever 
we should talk like we're friends. <laughs> Oh, because we danger. do, but when we, danger. yeah, when we address each other, we still address, you know, she addresses me oh. like a client, and but she's really nice. I brought her like gift from Guadeloupe when I went to Guadeloupe. I brought her like rum from there. So if I had to break up with her, that would be very, very hard for me. It's really like being in a relationship. Yeah, but at least you like her, so no, she, uh, yeah, I like her. Yeah, she's uh, she's very nice. So far, so good. <laughs> All right, don't. Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. Click on subscribe, you know, to our to the podcast. It's where you get all the new episodes right away when they come out. All right? All right. Bye, everyone. Take care. Thank you for tuning in to High Vibes and the Mic. Until next time, laugh hard, stay silly, and never forget to bring your sense of humor. Please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.